just came from Pixar. Oh, okay, okay. Get some sodas if you want to. Yeah, you know, oh, so you guys, hey. Yeah. How y'all doing? Fine. Sorry, I'll be just kind of going through here a little bit. Uh, we'll be giving these prizes out. Uh, also, there's some pizza and sodas. If you guys are hungry or want to snack on something, please. We just came from pizza, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Hey, Carlos. Yes. You need more than one? Sure. Can you give them? There you go. Here you go, Here you go, Chuck. Right, they should have some. Okay. No, no, thank you. Shortstop. Shortstop is your godson? Migo Banda? Yes. Oh, okay. We love Migo. We were still waiting on the. You got to go. I'll grab it. I'll see if I can play. Hey, 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 here we go. THA Championship, August 1st, War Dogs versus the Hyenas. Guys, y'all in for a good one tonight. What's up, more Isaiah? What's up, Isaiah? Last year's Cy Young Award winner, Isaiah Villarreal. Got Eddie Beret on the mound warming up. Be sure to grab, grab as much as y'all want, please. Thank you. Please. Four dogs tonight's home team. Hyenas. Or your visiting team. My partner tonight, Chuck. He's out getting lineups right now. Little Mick, what's up? Wilford Cisneros, what's up? Championship game tonight. Hey, Andy. Hey, you know I'm ready. Pizza. Vale. I saw this time in, Andy. Here, Andy. First pitch of the game starts off with the. Could be a tough ball at third, but we're gonna call that an E5. That's an E5 to start the game off. Number seven, number seven on.
Johan, what's up, Johan? Those two people that just came, can you go get to this? Let them know that there's pizza. Base hit to safe at first. Kevin with the base hit. What am I? Hey, go. Tell him. Who's up? Also, oh, it's going right now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Welcome, folks. We're just underway, facing the third batter in the lineup for the Hyenas. Belay, the third baseman. We wear his number 33. We're coming to you live from Robert Copley Field at Elsick High School in A Leaf ISD's Sports Complex. We're thankful that you're joining us. The pitch. Strike one to belay the third baseman. The hyenas, the visitors in their gray jerseys, trimmed in orange. The war dogs, the home team, in their whites, the camouflage lab, numerals. The pitch. Right. Stepping on third, the third to first. In time. Double, Double play. play. Yes, sir. Double play. Five unassisted, five three, made up for that error. I'd say so. Well, from runner on first and second, nobody out. Some slick War Dogs defense. We're now looking at runner on second, but now two outs as number ten Barrick, the first baseman, comes to the plate. Righty steps in. Gray looks and deals. Again, runner to throw to first. All right, couple of base hits for the Hyenas in the top of the first, but some slick defense by the War Dogs, and we go to the bottom. Still nothing, nothing. And for our first raffle of the day, we give a prize out to... Winning number is 269125. 269125! 269125. Break right. open your tickets, folks. That right there was. Get your tickets. We got a winner. 269125. That right there, the voice of the man Did you get one? behind all the action, Carlos Ramon. He is the commissioner of the Texas Hardball Association. You know, from the scheduling to you know securing the fields and everything, this is the man that you know, makes it all possible. To bring you this men's hardball action here deep in the heart of Texas. 125, 125. All right. We do some quick warm ups in the field. We we'll look at our hyenas defensive front. Number seven in center fielder, Jose. Left fielder, number nine, you'll bear. Right fielder, uh, remains to be seen. We have number three pitching for the Hyenas. Kevin. Roca. Kevin Roca on the mound for the Hyenas, the player manager of the Hyenas. It's cool to see the uh, throwback to a bygone age of professional baseball where managers also often played at the same time as they manage, but it's nice to see that making resurgence here in the Texas Hardball Association. Weather conditions for this game. Fortunately, we had to. Eric, what's up, Eric? David, what's up, David? Reschedule the game. Oscar, Justin. 
Yes, sir. Eric. Nice field. Nice field. The sun gets ready to set. Can you find the winner? Nice, humid 91 degrees here in the heart of Texas, Houston. Yet still, we're looking forward to this championship game between the Hyenas and the War Dogs. For those just joining us, we're going into the bottom of the first. First couple of quick hits to start the game for the Hyenas, but some slick defensive play by the War Dogs infield. Limits the damage, and three quick outs follow after that. And we're getting ready to start the bottom of the first. Those of you all wondering, we are the Texas Hardball Association. We are a men's recreational wood bat league located in Houston, Texas, with teams from around the area. If you all are interested in trying to get back on the diamond, bust out those cleats. You know, make sure you find yourself to a nice cage, get the old uh, juices flowing again. Contact Carlos Ramon on Facebook and look us up at Texas Hardball Association. Robert, what's up, Robert? Dixon, what's up, Dixon? And the home umpire calls to get the action started. As we get ready for the first batter out of the bottom of the first, number one, the center fielder, Dominic Padilla. that the highest take their defensive positions Padilla righty bat Padilla is super quick guy gets on base loves taking stolen bases so see him to create some havoc on the bases once he's on exactly prototypical leadoff man let's see how he fares Ozzy catching for the hyenas tonight takes the first pitch strike Okay. Well, hey, ready? Fires. Low on the outside. Even count one and one. Broken rocks and fires. Swing and a miss. On the outside, made him chase. One and two. With the start of August, you definitely feel the sun today. That is right, Commission. Hasn't stopped these guys from coming out here and looking to oh, keep no, on no. and spread the glory of the game of baseball. Wines in the pitch. No low, low, ball two. Even the help to count. Hyenas are an expansion team this year. Kevin won the manager of the year earlier today. Oh, fantastic. Putting this team together, bringing them to the championship game. If you've ever managed a team, you obviously know it's a lot of work. So, yeah. even more so, you know these players don't get paid. Rock on the pitch. Oh, hit to the shortstop. The throw to first. A little bit high, but still in time to get the runner. One down here in the bottom of the first. Coming up to hit number 24, the pitcher for the War Dogs, Beret. Lefty batter. Gets ready to stand in the box. Pitcher on pitcher matchup. And in this league, you know, at least for the teams at least, you know, there is no DH. The pitchers also will hit. Pitch, Pitch just off the outside corner for strike one. Back at it. The one. 
tried to check his swing, but still went around 0-2 to the pitcher, Beret. Pitcher on pitcher duel. That's it, and the pitch. Outside, one and two. And you gotta admit how miraculous it is in this day and age to find you know guys that have families, jobs that are still able to maintain their skill and meet on this diamond and still play the game. The pitch. Swing and strike three. A little bit out front. And two down in the bottom of the first for the War, War Dogs. Coming up to bat, the second player manager, Migo Banda, number 11. Is it short, starts the game short today. Migo's an everyday player. He plays in pretty much every league that's uh, out here in the United States. For those of you who don't know, the War Dogs are the Houston branch of the U.S. military War Dogs. It's a team of uh, militarily affiliated veterans and players. Foul. Some good contact. I want to thanks to the grounds crew for these uh, for the A Leaf grounds. These balls should they be uh, yeah. foul out? Should be pretty easy to find. Coach Mike Luster takes care of this field, and he's. Uh, he puts in a lot of work, so we really appreciate Coach. The wind and the pitch. Migo makes contact. And that is going to drop. Oh, center field bobbles, and he's going for two. The throw into second. Pulls him off the bag. Migo is safe in a second for a two-out double. First extra base hit for the day. Yes, sir. Migo Bando with the double. They call those Texas bloopers, right? <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, and clean, batting cleanup, the catcher, Steele, number seven. Big righty about to step in, hoping he can bring Banda home and break out the scoring here tonight. I've seen this guy hit some monster home runs this season. I'm sure the War Dogs and their fans would definitely like to see that here. Again, the War Dogs are the Houston branch of the U.S. military War Dogs. They're military-affiliated veteran players, dependents, family members that still play baseball. And Migo actually just returned from the, uh, for those who served tour, I believe. I may be misquoting yeah. the name of the tour. Forgive they me for that. They something going on. It could, it could have, yeah. But the uh, traveling team for the War Dogs would go around to military installations and cities all over the country, honoring the veterans and those who have fallen. Broke the winds. 0-1 count. And the pitch. Blooper foul. David, anytime, brother. Misha, what's up, brother? Diego, Alfredo, how y'all been? Oliva, what's up, Juan? Looks, checks the runner. Oh, tries. The ball scampers into the thing. The skull. Oh, in here. Due to the. Whew. Quick turn of events there. Rogue of the pitcher tried to catch. Band is sleeping at second. Thankfully, he was able to uh, make his way to third. Avoiding the tag. A little bit of an off center throw by the pitcher to the second baseman allowed him to get to third. It was a close call, but still now stands on third with two outs. And Steele standing back in. The one in the pitch. A little, little bit high. high. Yeah. Count is two and one to Steele, the catcher. Oh, foul. Back and out of play. Two and two, even count. A couple of 
a couple of decent swings. Just a little bit too slow to put the ball in play, but Steele open for hoping to bring Banda home as he stands on third with two outs. Roko, the set and the pitch. Nice pitch. Low and away. Full count, three and two. Those are those chasing pitches, right? Yeah. Still able to hold off. Work himself to a full count. Hopes to continue this at bat and get another chance to continue the inning. And the pitch. Low and outside, and Steele will walk runners at the corners for the War Dogs. Time is called. Quick conference at the mid mound. Roca and his catcher, name of Ozzy, waiting to hit the left fielder for the War Dogs, number 44, Tamez, sporting loyalty on the back of his uniform. Runners in the corners, bottom of the first inning. Two outs. Number five hitter, hoping to bring home some runs for the War Dogs. Demez steps off. Asking for a new baseball from the umpire. Steps back on the mound, and we're ready. Deals to Tamez. And defensive indifference. Walked second. Steel basically end up on second. Runners on second and third. Still two outs. Yeah. What allowed a bandit to get to third, you just don't want to open up scoring with a misthrown ball into the center field. So, good decision. Broker deals. Inside. Oh. Uh, a little high and high and inside, but yet the uh, umpire still calls it a strike. We have a one on one count. Very generous location there. Yeah, to say the least. Pitch. A little bit low and outside. Two on one count. Trying to nail down this strike zone, so, you know, seems to be a uh, folly for anybody. Still not set, I guess. Second inning. <laughs> Such a rump. Actually, bottom first, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Go on in the pitch. Low and outside again. About a good two, three inches off the plate, and yet still being called strikes. Wow. Yeah. Okay, great. Count slays two and two. You have a chance. Can you go give one to that guy that just came? He's sitting in the front of the Tame one right here. Roka checks the runners. Right it's ready to deal to Tamez. The pitch. Low and inside. Full count. Roka hasn't been essentially wild this bottom of the half inning, but, you know, still some excellent discipline from these War Dog batters. He's one pitch away from potentially loading the bases. Set, line in the pitch, low and outside. We have the, our first bases loaded of the championship game. Two outs in the bottom of the first. As number eight, Bennett, the third baseman, steps to the plate, hoping to break out on the scoring here in the bottom of the first. Bennett, you know, he's a local favorite here out here in Houston, so he got a lot of fan support. So, Commissioner, how much would you? Uh, Percentage-wise, how much would you uh, uh, think that the players on. would have some sort of uh, either high collegiate or even some minor professional experience playing oh, ball? Oh, we're looking at about... Swing and a miss for strike one. I mean, you got people on base right now. Two of them played college ball. Batter played college ball. Uh, you got a professional at third from Dominican. You got some really high-class ball players out here. Throw the sets and pitches. Just off the plate, but still 
close enough that the umpire's been calling them strikes routinely in that position. I guess we can nail down a strike zone from what we've seen so far, but even count one and one. Actually, uh, oh and two, actually. With the Roca trying to get a good chase to get out of this jam that he's found himself in. The pitch. And that is a punch for strike three. A couple of bad decisions load up the bases for the War Dogs, but the Hyenas are able to deal them their way out of it. We go to the top of the second. Still tied. No score. Strikes don't look like it opened up a little bit, huh? It's <laughs> yeah, just a bit. 24 has a weenie arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Second prize. Two six nine. Two six nine. One two nine. One two nine. One two nine. Hmm? Two six nine one two nine. Two six nine one two nine. Oh, I gave some to the umpires. What if they? No, they they looked like they were tricking us. I don't know how to say it in Spanish. One of those and later. No. This is the last one. That was the last one. One, two, nine. No. Maybe call the other person out again, too. Wait. Uh, this one is Javier. About to start the second inning in the top of the first. Yolbert hit a home run in the semi championship game last time. It was a beauty. And the pitch. score is 0 0, Jerry. Swing and a miss. Uh, this is the top of the second. Top of the second. Yes, sir. Hey, can y'all hear both of us? If y'all can hear both of us, give us a thumbs up. And grounder just fair. Throw to first. Kuz not able to come up with it. The old bear will stay on first, but it is a throwing error by the third baseman. You know, as a third baseman, man, there's a lot of times that I throw some of them balls and I'm pretty sure the first baseman should have caught them. And I think in that pretty situation, first baseman should have caught that ball. You're most definitely right. But, but technically it's an E5, right? I'd say. At the end of the day, still high degree of difficulty, you know, trying yeah. to have two players sync up like that, but, you know, still early. And chop foul. Batter number 12, the shortstop for the Hyenas, Brian. Trying to keep the old bear honest at first base. Hector, what's up, brother? Billy. Okay, good. You can hear us both. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> Ray sets and the pitch. Low and inside. We're trying this little commentary thing, you know. I just want to make sure you can hear both of us. I got myself here and Chuck. Chuck's helping out. That's the professional voice that you hear. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Commission. We'll see how people feel about the drone after nine innings or so. <laughs> right down the middle, Brian takes. Even count, two and two. All right. No outs in the top of the first. 
Bray looks the pitch. A little bit high. Ball. Full count. It's THA 2024 Spring Season Championship game here at Elsick High School. Ray checks the runners. Robert Copley Field. And the pitch. Swing. Oh, past the third baseman into left field. Fielder's able to react quickly, keep it to a single, but there's still two men on, nobody out. As the second baseman, Marlin, gets ready to dig in. Kyle, where you at, Kyle? Number 11 for the Hyenas. Well hit off the bat of Brian, able to get himself on base, and the Hyenas are threatening with nobody out here in the top of the first, second, pardon me. Bray, the deal in the pitch. Swing and a miss for the first strike. The pitch. Swing again. Oh, getting trying to get back to first. A pitch out. Still able to get back safely in the first. 0 2 count. Runners at first and second. No outs for the War Dogs. Oh. Come on, Dave's in. And he skies it to. Second baseman calls it, and he's got it. One down. All right, Kyle, be careful. So Marlon's retired. Damien up at the plate. Number 13 for the Hyenas. Runners on first and second. One gone here in the top of the second. Oh. Hidden ball trick, perhaps, is able to pull the old bear off a of second base and. Wow, that happened last week, y'all. We're going to see if he's actually going to stand trick. by. Yeah, he's out. Wow. Well. He well, wasn't on the mound, he was on the grass, so they were able to execute this hidden ball trick once again. Attention to detail is key. Yeah, very key. Two outs. Runner on first. As Damien digs in, Bray deals. And Sky. Third baseman should have it. Oh, Shortstop off, Migo Banda calls him off. Migo said, that's my ball. And three outs. We go to the bottom of the second. In Still no score. Again. Get your tickets ready. Get your tickets ready. And we got a winner. 269 157. 269 157. 269 157. Man. Two six nine, yeah, one five seven. Oh, we got a winner. Right here. Right here. Come on. Come on. So she don't have to walk that far. Let's see if that's hers. Yeah. What is that? We got our first winner of the night. Two six nine one five zero. Commissioner Ramon calling out the names and the numbers for these giveaway prizes here at the championship game. Bam, Trying to build a great winner. community here in Texas for men's wood bat baseball. And we definitely want to see you in one of our upcoming seasons. Commissioner, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the uh, fall season starts off the 13th of this month, correct? Fifth. Fifth of this month. Yes. A little sooner. A little sooner than expected. So if y'all are watching, you definitely want to come out here and, you know, take part in our national pastime. Make sure you follow us here on Kyle Facebook. Kyle Ross is showing up late, guys. There he is. Say hi, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle had to work late, y'all. No problem. Like I said, in this day and age, the fact that we have this amount of men that are able to, you know, basically hold down jobs, families, careers, and still find time to better themselves in the sport and come out here on a hot First night in eight, uh, August, rather. Yeah, first night of August, first day, first start of the summer. And play some fantastic baseball. It, it warms your heart. It really does. Okay. 
Fall season starts next week, guys. First game, August 5th, Mason Park number one. First game will be the Thunder versus the Cuban Missiles. <laughs> nice play on words there. Nice the, play on words, right? Looks to the Cuban Missile Crisis, a real life event that could have uh, had it gone another way. Probably uh, led to a real life uh, Fallout video game. Don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> All right, starting off the bottom of the second, the seventh spot hitter, number 27, the right fielder, Butler, for the War Dogs. Lefty digs in and is ready for Roka's first pitch of the inning. Hugo, Carlos, what's up? August 5th, babe, what's up? The pitch. All games for the month of Catches August and September will be at strike. Mason Park number one. Oh. Swing and a miss. You could a hear the, front of that You one. could hear the threads with that curveball. Indeed. And Butler's down 0-2. Not only in between between pitches for Roca, but he's been able to work himself out of a couple jams. The wind in the pitch. Cold strike three. I not sure the okay, good, width good. of that uh, strike zone, but it seemed to be a little bit extending into, uh, well, either batter's box, to tell you the truth, based on what we've seen so far, but... Yeah, good. That ain't right. Uh, down goes Butler for the first out of the inning. Okay. Number eight hitter, tell her pizza. Frank Padilla. is actually a bit of a family affair, is... Uh, Frank's brother Dom is actually bounced lead off and is the center fielder for the team. Oh, speaking of which, drives a deep. Center fielder retreats and is able to make an over the shoulder catch for the second out. Two down. Well hit, but pretty much right at the center fielder. A little jackrabbit, I think. And now batting ninth for the War Dogs, second baseman number 15, Perez. He digs in. Roka's been able to work himself a pretty quick inning. Two quick outs. The pitch. Out. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, strike one, apparently. Mish, I think we need to uh, <laughs> scratch somebody off for next time for uh, umpires. Strike two. Swinging this time. So, kind of hard to debate that one, but. The first pitch of this at bat, definitely a, another story. Well, Perez digs in, trying to help get on base with two outs. Roca deals. Oh, swing. Hits the shortstop. Comes out at the throw to first. A little bit off. Well, he is safe. And we have a two out base runner as Perez is able to beat out the throw to first. And we're back to the top of the order. So now the question is, is that a hit or E6? I'd say it's kind of hard to see. The shortstop had more time to make the throw. Definitely that call it might be up in the air, but I'd say he would have been a bang bang call either way. But I believe the uh, first baseman was not able to hold on to the ball. No, not at all. Off the plate, strike one to Dom Padilla. Back to the top of the order with two outs. Hoping to see and hoping to scoring in this game. Championship between the Hyenas and the War Dogs. Two out base runner. Perez at first. Roca winds in the pitch. A little bit high. One and one. Hasn't been too many chances for either team to score, so there's an opportunity now. True, they've had the base runners, but some slick fielding has been able to, you know, assist both teams in getting out of jams early. One in the pitch. 
Line foul into the Wardog dugout. And the hump and the pitcher Roca will switch out balls. One and two to the leadoff man, Padilla. Thank you. Isaiah, and our, one of our viewers, Isaiah, seems to think that that's an E6, and I'd say it would go down as such. Good call. E6, E6, Isaiah, I got you, babe. That's had, what we put. Had the first baseman held on the ball, it would have been a bang, bang play call either way, but a slight drop at the end. The runner goes. Popped up. Foul territory. First baseman is under it, makes the catch for the third out. Top of the third, still no score, upcoming. Carlos, two months ain't nothing for you, big dog, let's go. Saturday, come on over Saturday, no, we have a game Monday. Monday. Lunes, a buena lunes. Ahí, Mason, número uno. No, this is, I can answer ahorita, pero cuando final eso, si puede jugar aquí. Como yo dice él, yo pago ahí un mes. Un mes. So, yo no sé, ahí no te Hey, third raffle, third raffle. Two, six, nine, one, three, seven. Two, six, nine, one, three, seven. Yeah? Go check him. Go check him. Go check him, mom, because he's he, he's hey, got put in the camera. All right, we got we got we got verify yours for sure. Just like that strike zone. Her. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll hold it up here for you. Right. The next time it's on forty on forty six. The next time it's on forty on forty six. Oh, is your number? Yeah. <laughs> hey, both. Yeah. Do you want to adjust it so it goes public? So yeah. Watch it. Do you want it? You just want to. Well, I, I, it's a private group. It's in the Texas Hardball page. Oh, okay. So private pages, it's, it's a private. They had to be a member on that page. You know what I mean? I got you. All right. All right. Ray deals. Skyed foul. Way out of play. Bing. Oh, she loved giving her serve. Ask her, look at her, look at her phone. Well, I'm catch her. Beret deal. Oh, oh yeah. Rounded Amigo at short. Throw to first. Clean scoop. One down. One out, Art up to bat for the Hyenas. Ray winds and deals. Low and outside, ball one. Still no score, top of the third. I believe is the 10th uh, man. Oh my God. Swing and a miss.
one and one. Oh, line right at the shortstop man that makes this slick play. Good catch, and just like that, two down. Stepping back in, number two hitter. Pitcher on pitcher duel here. Pop up. Right on the first baseman, and Russ is like that. Quick one, two, three in the top of the third. Down go the hyenas. Wardoff's coming up at bat in the bottom of the third. Still no score. That was a quick inning. Dusty Baker. Orthodontics appointment. Thank you. Dusty Baker. Yeah, I got it right there. <laughs> hey, get your tickets out. Let's go. One fifty. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, one fifty nine. Two six nine, one five nine. I'm dude. Two six nine, one five nine. Let's go. I promise, I just pulled it out. This, uh, another ring. This one is uh, Jordan. Jordan. Jordan Alvarez. And those are all fifty dollar rings right all -star there. All-star slugger for the hometown Houston Astros. One of the rings as a uh, raffle prize is given out by the THA. I do have them though. I, I got I got all these. I got season tickets so when we go like we get and I win it's ring night you go. Yeah. Oh front, yeah. There you go. We don't like to do that. We, and, like, and we like to have to rush over there. No, and get and it you're still, <laughs> and you're still getting the game. Yeah. I'll be there tomorrow night I'm to watch. Good. The Astros take on the Rays. Let's say hi. I'll drink a beer with you. I'll be there tomorrow night too. My uh, girlfriend's there for her. Um, one of her co-workers, uh, Texas Tech alumni night. Okay. Man, he spoke that one into existence. He said, "Call one five nine." I pulled out. I'm like, what? What? I'm like, oh shoot! Ah, right, I see you. There you go. Let's go. Hey, right, you spoke that one into existence. <laughs> that was crazy. As we take a slight break, not a lot of uh, MLB action on this Thursday. Oh well, let's Guardians are beating the uh, Orioles, going into the top of the ninth. About to close that out. Okay. Ten to three. Ten three. What's up, Juan? Braves over the Marlins in the bottom of the seventh. Four two. Cubs and Cardinals tied, bottom of the fifth. Okay. And Rockies and the Angels just about to get underway in Anaheim. Okay. And the only final that we have thus far today, Royals over the Tigers, 7-1. Royals over the Tigers, 7-1. Okay. All right. The pitcher, Beret, the lefty steps into the box. Roca, a little bit longer set, and the pitch. Shows bunt, pulls it back. Ball one. Bottom of the third here, still no score. Eddie Beret, no stranger to championship games. He's involved in every league in Houston, and I think he's played in a championship game in every league, so. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, hats off to Eddie Beret. So you got to hats off to pitchers batting this day and age. This is our, we're going to be seeing this pitcher on pitcher batting duel all night now. Takes a first strike. Two and one the count. Quick ball exchange. Righty on lefty. And we'll see who comes out to be the victor on this one. Yeah. Two and one count. I got a job already. Broca winds and the pitch. Shows bunt, foul. Even count, 2-2. Two, two. Be careful. Beret digs back in. Got a good crowd tonight. Both sides got some fans cheering for him. Most definitely then. Very glad to see that, and we hope it only gets better 
Low and inside, almost Nick Beret. Count goes full, three and two. War Dogs fan base. And Beret steps back in, full count. Roga sets. The wind and the pitch. Foul ball. Foul and the batting continues. Oh, stay inside. Always nice when you don't have to go far to wrangle up that ball. Is there a bathroom close by? Yes, just in that building that you see right there on the other side of the building. Inside, ball four, and Beret finds himself on first with the leadoff walk. Still nobody out here in the bottom of the third. With the player manager, number 11, Miga Banda at shortstop. Digging in. Quick time is called. Seems we have a pinch runner for the War Dogs. Number one, Dom Padilla, will take Bray's place on the base pass. Quick conference between the uh, referee and pitcher wow. Roca. And now a conference between home plate umpire and the referee debating on whether or not they can use Padilla as a base runner. And we're switching out and it seems as if number... Pitcher still got to run for himself with one out. Yep, Beret Two will yeah, maybe go back to first. Maybe so no busy. pinch runner this time. And we should still get back to action. Band at the plate, runner on first, nobody out. Broken deals. Strike one. All right, the sun's almost completely set here. You can see the remnants of some beautiful red clouds out over the outfield fence. Broken deals. Right back at the pitcher, not able to make the catch. Tries to get the runner on second. Gets the force out at second, but still runner at first. Fielder's choice. One out. Still good job by Roca, keeping that ball in front of him, able to make the play, get the lead runner. As number seven, the catcher, Steele, digs in for the War Dogs. That gate Wide that outside. Gate. All one. Yeah. I think he figured it out. But just if you go, so you know. For those of you joining us tonight on stream, we do appreciate it. We hope to make this um, commentary a common feature moving forward into our later seasons. And uh, we want to make sure that you know we can bring a level of professionalism and excellence to this league that shows its way. Browner too short. Flip to second. On to first. Six four three, famous six four three double play. Save the hyenas there. Jose, what's up, Jose? Romero, what's up, Giovanni? Manuel, what's good? What's good? Six four three. Well, that bungle that. Because the six is what the first baseman or the third? Six is the short. Six is the short. Okay. And then he tossed the four, which is because that is the most common. I'm thinking as soon yeah. as I say that, did I bungle it? No, but, no, no. <laughs> No, it works out. I'm slowly but surely, folks, you know, bear with me. I am trying my best to get the hang of it, you know, making sure that, you know, I can get the terminology out by the time of the action still happening on the field. But perfect practice does make perfect. And this is a great opportunity in this championship game to get some get some sea legs under me, so to speak. All right. Doing it again. Two, six, nine, one, two, one. Two six nine one two one. Let's go. Two six nine one two one. 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 Two six nine
Let's go! 269-121. Another winner here. She got a she got a Kyle Tucker ring. Commissioner Ramon. Been you know pretty instrumental on making sure that this community here in the THA has a lot to look forward to in these games. Raffles, door prizes, pizza for the fans. We have an upcoming banquet for the um, spring season, of which this will be the final game. We'll put this season in the books. And 5 August, we're getting ready to start the fall season of THA. So again, if you'd all like to join us, please reach out to Commissioner Ramon or follow us on Facebook of the Texas Hardball Association. All right. Some pretty decent hitting from both teams so far, but so far as no runs have come across home plate. So score stands 0-0. Thank you, ma'am. And number three, Roka the pitcher, digs in to face Beret at the top of the fourth. And the pitch, just low, ball one. It seems to be a duel that we're gonna see time and time again, pitcher pitching to a pitcher who just happens to be batting, grounds it to the second baseman, throw to first. One gone here at the top of the fourth. And Boulay, third baseman, coming up to hit here in the top of the fourth. One gone. Mm hmm. Coach. <laughs> it was his one, two, nine. Bray winds and the pitch. A swing and a miss. Strike one. Definitely trying to put some lumber on the ball was Boulay. Just a little bit out in front of it. Just low. Even count. One and one. The. Alright, the winner is going Yeah. I had to say the um, strike zone's been a little bit in debate tonight, but it has been somewhat standard for everybody, at least, I'll have to be said. Again, swing and a strike two to the big third baseman, trying to definitely put some lumber on it. He has the power to hit it a ton, hit it a mile, but he has to make the connection, which he's been a little bit too far out in front of those balls. Bray the wind. Justin, and the one-two pitch. Justin? Skies it to the right fielder. Oh, that's And it will long. bounce. He's going for two. Throw in. Shortstop. And he is safe. And the first extra base hit for the Hyenas as Boulay hits it a ton and comes up with a leadoff double for the Hyenas. Correction. Correction. What did Kevin do? That was a ground out. As I should have said, there's actually runner on second with one gone so far for the Hyenas. All right. As the left fielder, Yo Bear, digs in. Yeah, and I was going to say, I think you had to go, I think you went that way. Correction. I didn't even see that. My bad. The first baseman, Barrick. Choice, what's up, Choice? And the pitch. A little high for the ball one. <laughs> Foul tip. One and one. Rock with the big swing. Yeah. One's gone so far in the top of the fourth. First baseman Barrick at that trying to bring in Boulay who came up big with a one out double. Scoring position. We'll see. Time is called. All right, Beret resets himself on the mound. Barrick is ready. The wind and the pitch. Oh. Strike. Okay. Try to hold up, but strike nonetheless. The count is two and two. Two and two, the count, one out. Hyenas with their first real threat 
to score tonight. Runner at second base. Oh. Bait up the middle. Banna collects deals, throws to first to get Barrick at first. But Poulet moves up to third with two outs. And the left fielder, Yo Bear, coming to bat, trying to see if he can bring him in and break out scoring here in this championship game. set and deals sky back and out of play oh and one are you done over there Serge are y'all done the season over there yeah when they finish uh, Sunday. Sunday all right Bray showing some command oh yeah. out the outside corner strike two that's a strike in any league you play in. Yes, sir. Bray trying to deal himself out of trouble. Two outs. Runner on third. And the ball is skied and foul. This count remains 0-2. We've seen some great contact here tonight that, you know, definitely... It looks like it's going to be fair in some cases. Exactly. And the set in the pitch. Another foul out and out of play. Over the War Dogs. Dugout. Eventually, I want to be able to afford buckets and buckets of balls for this league. That's my vision for it. Never find a way to. I know I don't like them having to wait for be equipment yeah. rich. Low for the first ball of the at bat, and definitely not the first pitch though. As we've seen foul after foul, as Bill Bear has been able to fight him off and stay alive in this at bat. Two one to count. One two. One two. And he makes contact oh, in the gap. He runs, makes oh, the no. catch. They got speed out there. Able to get a runner to third, but some good fielding. By that out, more dogs outfield. Renders no runs scored as we go to the bottom of the fourth. 0-0. Zero, zero. Another raffle, here we go, bottom four. Bottom fourth, yes, sir. Bottom four. Let's see if this actually. Two, six, nine, one, two, eight. One, two, eight. Two, six, nine, one, two, eight. So we got a winner here, but they haven't claimed it. Two, six, nine. One, two, eight. Uh, maybe. If I don't know, probably we're games, and yeah. Yeah. Hey, what? Hey, what? What? We, we don't. We don't talk about that. We don't say them words here, bro. We don't say none of that here, bro. Seems we have a winner commission. Winner, winner. Young lady on the war dog side. Oh, she won again. Really? The lady, the lady is great. Yes. She went out too, baby. Yeah. It seems that the um, we're currently on the uh, raffle stages, giving out the 2022 World Champion replica rings from our hometown Houston Astros, who are off tonight in MLB action, but will start a three-game set against the Rays tomorrow night at Minute Maid Park. Oh my God, Ozzy, you're so good. As it stands, Shane Boz will be on the bump for the Rays while the trade down line um, acquisition of Yusei Kakuchi from the Blue Jays, he will make his 
Astro start tomorrow at Minute Maid Park. Oh, nice. It seems that he will be wearing number 16 for the Strohs. All right, we get ready to start the bottom of the fourth inning. Roca remains on the mound. Get ready, preparing to pitch to number 44, Tamez, the left fielder. The line and the pitch. Starts out the bottom of the fourth, high and inside, ball one. Fly ball in between left and center. Left fielder will make a leaping catch. Some good weather. And Tamez is retired for the first out of the bottom of the fourth. Third baseman, number eight, Bennett, steps in for the War Dogs. All the players for the War Dogs are either um, military members themselves or dependents of military members or family members of military members. It's good to see that connection so well represented in our sport and our nation. First pitch, outside corner for strike one. Roka winds and the pitch, a little bit high, and inside, one and one. So far, both pitching staffs have been able to, you know, flash some pretty good stuff here. A few hits here and there, but nothing has crossed the plate as of yet in the bottom of the fourth. Strike two. Decent swing, but just a little bit out in front. One and two to the third baseman. Roko. Set. The wind and the pitch. And strike three, Bennett's down on strikes. Two gone here in the bottom of the fourth. Well, now back. Out last time, huh? I believe so. That is Butler, the right fielder, sporting number 27. The tall lefty stands in. Wines and deals. A liner in between short and third, and that's going to be a base hit for Butler. Two outs, runner on first. With the first baseman, Frank Padilla. Number three, trying to see if he can extend this inning. Two outs. Checks the runner, comes to, and deals. High and inside for ball one to Frank Padilla. Frank Padilla, former member of the United States Army, now proudly represents the War Dogs. The pitch inside, almost Nixon gets past the catcher, and Butler will advance to second. Runner in scoring position, still two outs. Runner advances on that pass ball. Jacob, what's up, Jacob? Roka sets and the pitch. A little dribbler. It's going to be a little hard to make a play. Short to the first baseman. Still makes the play. And once again, trouble is avoided. Roka is able to deal himself out. We go to the top of the fifth. Still no score. Have I been messing up and giving them too many? Because it was supposed to be, I had nine of these. What are you down to now? I only got two left. Yeah, maybe. 
It's kind of, I mean, in the early day, times where we were having trouble getting started up, maybe. But, you know. But I thought giving it every half inning was one inning, but what did I do wrong? Maybe giving up, I'm out of the top for a little better. That could have just been my, you know. At the top of each inning? Could be. But at the end of the day, it's, I mean, they're your prices. Look it up. Well, yeah, I know, but I was doing a mid inning. Should have had nine mid innings, right? How the hell did I run out? Ideally. Top of the fifth now, still no score. For those of y'all still joining us. Each team has had their fair share of hits, missteps, but still, as it stands now, there's no score. As we go to the top of the fifth, Bray remains on the mound. Both pitching staffs pitching a shutout. Giving up their shares of hits, but still no runs have crossed home plate. So it stands right now, Commission. How uh, what's gonna be our next prize when we do make that draw? Uh, the next prize will be Framber Valdez World Series ring. Framber Valdez, number 59, ace for the Astros, replica 2023, 22 rather, World Championship ring. And we're getting about to get the thing underway. One of the multiple number 12s on the Hyenas steps in. And the first pitch for Beret. Swing and a miss for strike one. I believe this will be the shortstop Bryant at the plate. The 0 1 pitch. Makes contact. Bandit. Sliding stop. The throw to first. In time. Wow. Excellent dive and leather work by the War Dog infield, and one down here in the top of the fifth. I hope y'all saw that play on camera, man. That was amazing. Fantastic athleticism. Yeah. For both sure teams does, here. Yeah, it's been good defense in both ways. I, li I seriously thought that was a base hit. I thought he had that one. But he made that nice dive and got up quick. Banda uh, definitely showing up. That he lives up to his reputation as the second baseman Marlin for the highest stands in. Bray winds and the pitch. Contact right to the third baseman. Bobbled. Still possible for a throw to first. Still in time. And a drop ball at the last second. <sighs> Difficult to score that one. Bobbled ball by the third baseman. Clean throw and would have been in time. Added the throw to first, but unfortunately the first baseman dropped at the last second and the Hyenas have a one-out base runner. That one looked like a firecracker out of his glove. It just exploded. Most Didn't definitely. Didn't really have a chance for him to even say he caught that ball. They don't call it the hot corner for no reason, Kamish. That's definitely a hard play for anybody. As Damien stands in for the Hyenas. Throw back to first. And they say he got him on the pickoff at first base. Caught Marlin napping. Mm. And player manager Roca coming out to argue the fact with the umpire. Get up. It was a, definitely a bang bang play either way, but. Ooh, that looked tough right there. Tried to catch him napping at first, and according to they the uh, him out at referee, first. saying they got him. They're saying they got him. <laughs> Comes on the mound, and the call stands. He is out. Bases are now clear. Two mm -hmm. gone. Two pickoffs this, this game. You can't be happy there. You know, the skill level is still there, but you got to keep your mindset. No matter what inning you are, who you're facing. Game of baseball. Charcy, bring me an orange, please. All right, Damien stands back in. Bases are now clear with two gone. In the top of the fifth, Bray deals. Over the plate. Yes, 
Lined into right field. That's going to drop for a base hit. Damien is on his horse, but decides to keep to a single. Good job for the right fielder keeping that ball in front of him. And Damien is back on base with a two out base runner. Ozzy up to bat, the catcher for the hyenas. Two outs, runner at first. It's definitely an inning of excitement that we've seen so far here in the top of the fifth. Bray with the first pitch to the catcher. Swing, fouled out of play. Oh, tennis court. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, this is a. Thankfully, again, to this uh, A Leaf ISD um, sports complex. It's nice and. We're really having these uh, structures here to corral foul balls so that people don't have to try and search for them too long. Pickoff attempt at first. Able to get back unmolested. 0 oh 1. Bray comes set. The line and the pitch. Contact in the gap. It's in the gap. But the center. Oh, they dropped it. Dropped they, dropped it. they dropped it. They dropped it. They dropped it. They dropped the throw it. Throw into the cutoff, man. He's going to come home to the plate. And he's out. Out of the plate. Fantastic relay. Wow. By the center fielder for the War Dogs, able to catch. The Hyenas at the plate for the third out, and we remain scoreless as we go to the bottom of the fifth. Fantastic turn of events there, watchers. That was what would have been a fantastic catch for the third out. Turns to a drop ball by the center fielder, but he's able to regain his senses, collect that ball, and fires it into the catcher to get the Hyenas before they can score that run. And we remain scoreless in this championship game, folks. This is fantastic. Coming up to you next. Yeah, boy. Natural, bro. I don't, eventually, I get to where I'm not like Whew. bumbling myself. Boy, that was exciting, y'all. Yeah. Y'all missed that. Yeah, a lot of hustle there, Robert. A lot of hustle there. Migo Banda with the relay oh, was from Migo. Don Padilla, center fielder. Yeah, Migo's been basically He just bobbled the ball. I was center fielder. It looked like he caught it, but he bobbled the ball. And then he uh, relayed it to Banda and shortstop, shortstop. Migo, Migo got then the first relayed it to. The catcher with the bullet of a throw gets him out at the plate. Three outs. Score still remains 0 0. Yeah. Hey, on that throw that Bennett made, the first place we dropped it. It hit it right here and fell right out. Because when he caught it, I was like, all right, yeah. out too. And then I was like, we did too. Got a haircut? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Got a haircut, Yeah, you see, he made a good throw. I mean, even though he bobbled, he did a good throw, and he was right out yep. the middle. Yeah. Gotta give hats off to Don Padilla. That was, would have been a nice little basket catch for the third out, but for whatever reason, a bobble could have turned for a disaster for the War Dogs. He was booking himself around third, but was able to make a great cutoff and get him at the plate. For those of you just joining in, we're about to start the bottom of the fifth inning between the Hyenas and the Houston War Dogs. They score, well, there isn't any. There's been a fair share of hitting for both squads, but, you know, flashy defensive play and some less so has made an interesting game, but we still stand no score as we about to start the bottom of the fifth. Like 269154 269154 What do you want? Medium or extra large? Like, you know, actual, like, I want to have profiles on everybody. Actually, mm. well, about, you got that. on that site that I said, yeah. Right. But like, this is just like. I want to have it better. Extra large? So right, I right, can right. literally just be rattling names off and everything so I know everybody position because I want this to be a great. I got I got medium oh, yeah. XL2X. What's up, big guy? What's up, Tommy? Oh, she's connecting it. I got medium yeah. XL2X. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, man. Jared. Chuck. Let's meet Chuck. That's why I hear it. Yeah, that's what I was like. Yeah, I'm like, that's cool. Trying to get the kinks out and everything. This first live game I've ever called. All right. 
He's He's about to undergo the bottom of the fifth inning here. Roka still standing tall on the mound. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I played here. Oh, I mean, you know, people like him so much. So. I haven't played him, And the pitch. Swing into shallow center field. Center fielder is under it. And he retires. Perez, the second baseman, for the first out of the inning. Like, oh, I don't want no One gone in the bottom of the fifth as the center fielder Padilla comes to bat. Those of you just joining us, hopefully you didn't miss this. In the bottom of the fourth, what would have been the third out, uh, escape Padilla's glove in center field, but he was able to recover and make a killer throw to home. Mm -hmm. Nabbing the runner before a run could score, and he takes strike one. And we stand here, as you see us in this championship game, bottom of the fifth, still no score. But Padilla hopes to be the start of the change of that. Roka deals. Roller to the third, past the third baseman, shortstop gets it, but there's going to be no throw as Padilla gets himself on. One gone, runner on first. Los, Los, the shortstop for Hyenas in the Uh, His name is Brian. What's his last that's, name? That's all I have so far. Jerry, what's up, big dog? Yeah. All right, yeah, okay. For the fifth inning edition of the pitcher on pitcher batting duel, Ruka comes set. No. The pitch. We're giving out prizes, so keep pay attention. And to on the outside uh, corner, yeah. strike I one to Beret. Okay. Oh, shit. Right behind you. Beret batting lefty against Roka, the righty. Who comes set? Throw over to first. Not in time. Trying to keep the speedy Padilla on us on the base pads. One out. Score remains 0-0, zero, zero, bottom five. Checks the runner. <laughs> oh. Pitch. Swing and go. Yes. Throw could be run oh. on. Safe. He is oh. safe. Bang, bang, play that either way. Save, but Padilla is able to slide in second safely. A nice steal there to a run second runner in scoring position with only one out. Time is called. Trying to see if player manager Roca will argue the point with the referee. And with Roca back on the mound, the play will stand. Padilla on second, one out, and a one two count on Beret. Roka comes set. Checks the run. And the pitch. Oh. oh! Strike three, but the ball gets away. No throw. And it'll go down as a strikeout for Beret, but the catcher pass ball will be able to make it safely to first. Runners on the corners for the War Dogs with only one out. Ooh, what with the do? ever dangerous Migo Banda yeah, what do you do here? coming to the plate. Him? Nope. You walk him or you pitch to him? Swung third, swung third strike, passed ball on the uh, catcher. It reaches Bottom safely. five, zero, zero, Billy. You know what I'm saying? Conrad, what's up, Conrad? That's a strikeout with an uh, error on the catcher. Yeah. What do you do here? You walk him, load up the bases, one out, go for a double? or we'll see. Roka been able to escape every... Oh, on the outside corner for strike one. Roga's been able to deal well and get himself out of every uh, scrape he's gotten into him so far, but runners on the corners with one out definitely does not lend itself to the optimist. The set. The pitch. It goes line into right field. It's going to drop. I told you. That's trouble. One will score. Uh, Beret will score. The throw to third. Oh, Catches. Oh. Migo trying to go to third for the triple. 
but he still scores two runs as the War Dogs break the detente and go up 2-0 on the hyenas. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be loud. Yeah. That you ball now 2-0. War Dogs, top, bottom five. I don't know. Uh, just a misjudge by the right fielder. That ball able to get over his head, able to score. The runner on first and third, able to clear the bases. Tried to stretch that into a triple, but a good throw in was able to nail Banda at third. But it'll still go down as a. Two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Roca deals. Foul tip. Off the catcher's Oh, pass. and one on the catcher, Steele. Off the catcher's yeah. mass. Had to wait to the bottom of the fifth to see some scoring in this championship game, but now with one out, Migo Banda. Excellent base hit. Able to give the Wardogs two runs. Swing and strike two. On steel. Trying to keep this inning going, which was finally seeing the break in scoring. Roca trying to get out of this inning with relatively minor damage, but it's been a tight game there so far. We'll see how it goes. Mm. Oh. Outside. Thought he was going to get that strike three called, but just as an outside. One and two. And strike three. Inning is over. But Amigo Banda, one out, double, tried to get to a triple, but still scores the two runs. We go to the top of the sixth. 2-0, War Dogs. I guess I'll do the show again. Is that top six? Top six? We got top six. So I got two. Yeah, we can do that. You at least get one. All right, all right, all right. No, thank you. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, this is the best. Yeah. Unless you got cannons for arms. Yeah, nah, he was. Nah, even just him going. Two six nine one five three. One fifty three. One fifty three. I definitely like to be on the Space City Network one day. She won again? My main thing is just, you know, trying to get to where I don't bumble over anything. 153. Okay. I'm I picked all the way from the bottom. Yeah, they're the winners. Definitely give another shot. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> For those of you just joining us, we're about ready to start at the top of the sixth. Beret, Big. Eddie Beret still up. Yeah, Justin, 2 0 War Dogs. And the trouble started in the bottom of the fifth with uh, runners on the corners with one out. Migo Banda was able to sky a bloop just over the right fielder's shoulder. Able to clear the bases for a two-run double. Tried to stretch it to a triple, but was nabbed at third for the second out. No. Roca pitching a gem for the Hyenas, but still finds himself now in the hole. Two-nothing to the War Dogs. But I believe that middle of the order for the Hyenas. Hopes to make that more surmountable on uh, trying to get some base runners and get some scoring both teams haven't had trouble with that but as far as getting runners across the plate we had to wait to the bottom of the fifth to actually see a run across the plate Ray comes set and deals yeah 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 and ball one to number 24 Arthur for the hyenas Swings away and fouls it out. One and one. Sergio, 
Bray deals. Oh, lines over his head into center field for a leadoff knock. Start things off with a bang in the first top of the six. Runner on, nobody out. Jose, one of the better hitters for Hyenas. So this is a good chance for them to get something started. Yes, sir. Righty center fielder steps in. Bray comes set and deals. Just outside. Ball one. Bray checks the runner. Tries to keep him honest. Jose digs back in. Bray comes set in the 0-1 pitch. Lines. Oh! Sniping grab by Banda, the shortstop. For the first out. Nico Banda with another diving out. He's proof that age is just a number, y'all. Yes, indeed. Well hit by Jose, but again, some excellent leather work by the shortstop. First out of the top of the sixth. Pitcher, Roca, digs in. Righty on righty matchup with his opposite, Beret. Round to the second base and slow roller. Play it second. Play it first. Oh! Double play. And that ends the inning quick. They start with a leadoff base runner, but are unable to get anybody across as we go to the bottom of the six. Two nothing, Wardo. Appreciate y'all, man. What a sweet little double play that was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the second base, I believe. Okay. That's all right. Top six. I need to refine my my knowledge of the scoring process myself. That's been made abundantly clear to me. But yeah, I guess. Definitely that. something I need to I need to work on as I move forward. The skill level that we've seen tonight from both squads is just really exciting to see. We can only hope that we'll see version of these teams in the fall season upcoming, which is actually due to start the 5th of August. It's coming right around the bend, Mish. Right around Go ahead and tell us some more about it. Yeah, we got a uh, first week coming up at Mason number one. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we have games going on there all, all week and all month. So make sure you get on a team quick. I like it, I like it, I like it. You're probably going to win, too. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. All right, as we go into the bottom of the six, we're seeing a pitching change for the Hyenas. Yeah, they're not. It's just, it's just for looks. We don't have him on there for the scorecard, unfortunately, a number, unless you know the number two for the Hyenas. I don't. Joyce, can I get some background? Do you know the... Uh, Hurler for the hyenas, number two by chance. No, but it looks like this picture that they've been having is pretty good. Yeah, I know. I've seen him. I don't know. Okay. So we do have a mystery man on the mound mystery for the hyenas. <laughs> mystery man. Up, Roca What's does up? put in five good innings pitched, able to pitch himself around some jams here and there, but unfortunately the ones in the bottom of the fifth were the ones that uh, unfortunately did him in. Two earned runs. They make a pitching change. And I believe... So according to this, I believe that Roka will actually now make the change to catcher to make way for the hurler. Number two, name notwithstanding at this time. About ready to get underway. As number 44 for the War Dogs, the big left fielder Temez, about to lead off the bottom of the sixth. In the beginning, yeah. Some good pop and a good throw down to second. 
you know, Roka showing that he has a good cannon no matter where he is on the diamond. All right. And we're about to see number two's debut on the mound in this game, seeing if he can limit the War Dogs' bats and get his team back up to bat, see if they can answer. All right. Demez adjusts his, his gloves, now digs in, and the top, bottom of the sixth, rather, is about to be underway. Number two's first pitch, low and outside, ball one. Definitely competitive ball game all around. Some good hits by both squads. Excellent leather work out in the field by each defensive player, but also some mid steps led to the first two War Dog runs in the bottom of the fifth. They hold a 2 0 lead as Temez looks by strike one. Number two deals. Low and inside. Two and one. Uh, well, beautiful night under the lights, deep in the heart of Texas. High and inside, still called a strike as we go even count to all. Uh, the strike zone by the uh, yep, home plate umpire then. Some conjecture as of late. Number two sets and deals. Rounded foul. Just over the War Dogs dugout. Two and two. Nobody out is Temez hopes to lead off bottom of six with a base runner to try and add on to their two-nothing lead. Two some set and pitch. Strike three. Swings through it. And Temez is the first victim of the bottom of the sixth. One gone. As the third baseman, Bennett, comes to the bat. Hyena's reliever. Dealt pretty well so far. Pitch. Skied in the center field, over his head, up against the wall. Throw to second, and Bennett will slide in with a one-out double. Well hit. Difficult to read off the bat with the lights out, but over the center fielder, not able to get to it as it bangs off the base of the wall, and Bennett stands on second, scoring position with one out. The first out. Strike out. Swinging. As Frank Padilla, the lefty, digs in, hoping to add on to the Board Dogs lead. Thank you again. Butler, the right fielder. Outside for ball one. Jason, what's up, Jason? Alfredo, Jeremy Simon. What is it? 2 0 right now. <laughs> Bennett takes a small lead away from second. Two checks the runner and deals. Swing and a miss. One and one. Butler with the single to left field last at bat. Hoping to replicate that. Seeing if he can move Butler up to third or may even score him. But with this outfielder, swings through, strike two. Strike two for Butler. Bennett trying to get the third. Both squads have shown that their outfielders have excellent arm strength. They're able to nab runners at the bases, you know, trying to stretch singles into doubles and doubles into triples and limit the scoring, but trying to get it back. And it's off in the center field. Bennett will try and get to third. We'll see if there's a throw. Slow roller to the third baseman. As a throwing here on the pitcher. Are they trying that hiding ball trick over and over? Mm -hmm. Bennett will now stand Hall on third with only one out. 
Hey, Christy Burr. One out. Quick conference of the mound. Probably just find out the outs in the inning. There is one out here in the bottom of the sixth. Butler stands in. Two sets and the pitch. Strike two. Correction. Strike three. Second out of the inning. With number three, Frank Padilla, the first baseman, coming to bat. Two gone here in the bottom of the sixth. Runner on third. Seeing if we can have an increase in the scoring. As it stands, 2-0 War Dogs. After a big bottom of the fifth. Two's been able to get himself two outs thus far. Trying to see if he can get himself out of this jam. The pitch. Jammed him up and inside. Out and foul. Strike one. Two down. Yes, sir. Justin, two down. 2-0. Two War Dogs. Takes the runner and the pitch. On the outside corner, strike two. It was one of them was. Well, Bennett stands tall on third, but two's able to hopefully work himself out of a jam with a one two count. But he stands in. The pitch. Up and outside. Two and two. Set and the pitch up and inside full count. Could be mistaken, I believe. Now it is two two. My apologies. He deals. Low and in, full count. Yeah, I like that one. Look Padilla. low. Good eye by Padilla Very as he digs that, back Justin. in. Yeah, insurance right there with Bennett at third. Hyenas looking to get this out. The 3 2 pitch. Strike three on the corner, and Padilla goes down on he strikes. Knew he knew we it. go to the top of the seventh. Still 2 nothing. War Dog. Yeah, he knew that one as soon as he saw it. <laughs> he knew that. Well, you know, baseball is one of the most difficult sports on the planet for a reason, but it's a great thing to see our national pastime unfold underneath these great lights right. here at Robert Copley Field on the A. Leith ISD Sports Complex at Elsick High School. It's a beautiful night, still a little bit muggy, but clear and beautiful. A little bit of a breeze here and there. As we go to the top of the seventh. Oh, Bray. guys, look, we're blessed with the presence of Mike Misha. Zoom in to Mike, y'all. There he is. <laughs> There's Misha. Misha got his war dogs on. Yeah, full nine, Jess. Oh, that's awesome. It's a former Ilsic High School football, uh, baseball coach, rather. THA, man, League for the People. Fall season starts August 5th. If you're looking for a team, message me. It's fantastic to know somebody. Little Christmas. Field named by somebody who had a great impact of high school sports here in Houston. All right, as we're about to start at the top of the seventh. Hyenas down, down, to, down to nothing, trying to get something started. As the third baseman, Boulay, number 33, stands in against the pitcher, Beret. I told, I told, I told as Boulay he works. he's wearing his thunder pants. Oh, oh! Swings! Oh! A deep drive! Left field, 
Oh, the field and that is gone. First pitch of the seventh inning. Boulay sends one out on a mission. First homer and cuts the war dog lead. Two to one. Excellent way for the Hyenas to get themselves back in this game. There have been hits by both squads just waiting to erupt. Now the scoring for the Hyenas finally comes to fruition as Boulay cranks one high over the left field fence. Here in the top of the seventh, now two to one. War Dogs still lead. We got a game, guys, two one. Let's go. Boulay with the missile to left field. First baseman Barek comes up. Barek oh. deals. Whoa. Foul out and away. We've seen many of those Boulay bombs. Oh, and Hey, you saw that? Oh, rock. Uh, he leaned. He le he. Ha! Ooh, I can't wait for the season to start Monday. I'm leading off all season. Oh, Bray go. deals and pitches. <laughs> <laughs> right. and On the outside Alex. corner, strike two. To the big like, first baseman. <laughs> Lead off Rick. Hey, well, I remember when it was Hitting cold. righty. Cold, we, we can do this shit. Digs in. Remember that? Bray comes set and the pitch. Skies it to right field. Range is over. Makes a catch. Oh, he dropped, dropped it. it. Oh, you have to run it out, and you have to you have to fight for that one. You have to All fight right. for that one. Uh, drop after the catch is made by the right fielder. Right. Breck still called out. Number Rambo. First out of the inning. Another big hitter right here, Troy. Is that one that hit that bomb the other day? Remember? Is that right here? Yeah. Number nine, the left fielder Yo Bear definitely showed his power Yo in previous Bear. games to get him in his squad to the championship game here against the Horror Dogs. See if he can dial that in. Bray, the only the first earned run to give up. Deals. Fouled off his foot. Even though the ball goes fair. Strike one. Yo Bear walks it off. Stretching out, hopefully. He's all right, taking a foul ball off his foot. I believe it was it might have been his back foot. So it looks to be all right. Stretches himself. Bray, the War Dogs pitcher, gets himself a new ball. Yo right. Bear steps back in. Down 0-1. I knew you were going to say out there. Bray comes set. And deals. Swing again. <laughs> Foul ball. Count goes to 0 and 2. Right. Get a bit quick. One gone so far in the top of the seventh. Yet still, we do have a ball game. Two to one is the score now with the War Dogs leading. Bray, the set, and the pitch. Grounder to third, a bobble again, still recovers in time, throws to first. Out is made. A little bit of collision at first, nothing any, nothing too terrible. Was able to yeah, shrug it off. Yeah, he come back and that's what he hit him. They could have dropped that ball, broke his arm. Eight. Hats off to Bennett, the third baseman for the War Dogs, able to shrug that off. Still make the throw in the first in order of time to nab the runner. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. Yeah. <laughs> With Brian, the shortstop, digging in. But my team lost in the first round, so we're here. <laughs> we're over here. Mm. Thunder. Grounded to Bandit at third. Throw to first. In time. It's the seventh inning stretch here at the 2024 Spring Summer THA Championship game. We go to the bottom of the seventh. As the War Dogs maintain a 2-1 to one lead over the Hyenas. 2-1, baby. We got a game. All right. We got Seven a game. Seventh inning stretch, Commission. What do you have for us? Well, stretch. <laughs> <laughs> stretch, indeed. Good for anybody uh, at any age. Stretch. stretch get those hammies so what we this is what? nice and loose. Is this bottom? Bottom of the seventh. Seven? Bottom seven. And again, folks, if you find yourself watching us here or on any other of our uh, 
socials, do make sure that you follow us. If you're of a certain age, you feel that it should get back out on the diamond and play our national pastime in a competitive yet fun environment, please follow us. Hit up Commissioner Carlos Ramon and find out more information as spots are filling up fast for the fall season 2024, starting in just over a week on the 5th of August. I'm live! Under a week, rather. I'm live! Can you sign my ball? Uh, hey, call the last digit, 9-8. Uh, hey, 269-117. John 117, the Master Chief. Don't believe we have a former Master Chief on the War Dogs, but again, the War Dogs are a team organization of teams of which this is the Houston participant in our league anyway the uh, US military war dogs are a veteran foundation that um, features players with a military background either they themselves or the veteran dependents family members um, basically showing that they can still play our national pastime and supporting veterans charities all across the country. I got medium or two eggs? Take them both and let me know which okay. ones you want. Where? You want to catch? You need to what? It's fine. I believe Mystery you. number two for the hyenas stays on the mound for the bottom of the seventh. He's able to deal himself out of trouble. Last inning, tries to see if he can keep the game within one. And, bring it. and a swing by Perez, strike one. Perez, the second baseman, has been pretty watertight out in the field. Been able to, a couple double plays, able to get the War Dogs out of trouble. Tries to get things started for the Dogs here in the bottom of the seventh. Strike two. Two stairs down the batter. Hey, the set. Wind and pitch. Just a bit outside. One and two. All right, brother. Good seeing you. Perez leads off the bottom of the second as the War Dogs maintain a 2-1 to one lead over the Hyenas. 1-2 pitch. Strike three called. A little bit low from this vantage point, but still home plate up our Mesa call. And Perez goes down looking for the first out of the seventh. Back to the top of the order, number one, Dom Padilla, the center fielder. With one gone. Yes, sir. Hoping again get something going for the War Dogs here in the bottom of the inning. The wine in the pitch. Grounding the second baseman. Flips over to the first for the second out. Yeah. Number two so far, cruising. You know, jam last inning has been pretty good as he quickly refires the first two war dogs he face. As third batter of the inning, Bure, number two's counterpart, the war dogs pitcher comes up to the bat. That's right, folks. In the THA, there is no designated hitter, at least with these two teams. In this instance, two come set. And the pitch to Bray. Outside corner, strike one. Bray, a righty hurler. Bats left, however, in this instance. I'm not sure if he is a switch hitter or not. That makes me happy. You know I hate The 0 1 pitch. Outside, 1 and 1. 1 1 count, Eddie Bray. Two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. Number two for the. Hyenas trying hey, to put him down. One, two, three. The pitch outside. Two and one. 
Pretty good control for number two so far. He's been able to get himself out of the straight last inning. And so far, he's put down the first two war dogs in face. A little bit of a stutter step. Low. Two and two. Bray is still a dangerous batter, just as much as he is a pitcher. Hopes to extend this inning. We're two gone. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. I guess that will make it two and two. Uh, that should be strike three. Last I was. Hmm. At any rate, I believe now the count is two and two according to the umpire. Number two comes set. And the pitch to Bray. Low and inside. I guess according to the umpire, that was a full count. And Bray goes down to first with a two out walk. All right, batting third, the dangerous shortstop, Migo Banna, number 11 for the War Dogs, come to the plate. He, he's responsible with a double and two RBIs, the last at bat. Scored the only War Dog runs thus far. Tried to switch it into third gear and get himself to third for a triple, but was caught at third. Still scoring the two runs. Quick check. Taking the runner back to first. All right. Two gone. Bottom of the seventh. Pitch to Banda. Low, low but still strike. What's up? What's up? Come sit. Again. Who's this? Keeping him. Keeping Beret honest. What's up, B Dog? Man, we we miss you, bro. You good? Swing and a miss. That's good. That's good. Man, it went after that. Want me to write you? Let me know. I know how I'd be up in there. Still a dangerous hitter and probably one of the best shortstops I've seen in the THA thus far. That's why the team is in the championship. Dangerous war dog lineup. Pitch to Banda. Swing and a miss. Runner goes to second. And the swipe tag gets him attempting to steal. And the war dogs go down in the bottom of second. 2 1. War dog lead. Boo, boo, Top eight. Just hit a motherfucking bomb a minute ago. Mm -hmm. Seemed as if the steal was almost a secondary action. No slide from the pinch runner, unfortunately. You know, swipe tag by the second baseman. Good throw by Roca, the former pitcher. Um, started this game for the Hyenas, was behind the plate, able to nab the runner, stealing for the third out of the inning. As we go to the top of the eighth, the U.S. Military War Dogs, Houston Branch, lead the Hyenas 2-1. to one. What happened to Abanda? What did he do? Um, it was a strike two swing. Uh, caught steal no, he wasn't struck out. He caught stealing. Uh, pinch, runner, pinch runner was caught stealing. Yeah. I think he should go first. That's nice. So, I believe Migo will be up again, correct? Coaching. Uh, no, Migo struck, Migo struck out. Migo did not strike out, no. They caught the runner at second. Nah, they called him out. That's why he was, that's why they just let it lazy for a second. Oh, it was a strike three? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Manny! Last out. Thank you. Yeah, they caught him looking for two. Oh, the rest of them. Oh, for real? Well, yeah, that makes sense because Migos in Baytown. So, what do y'all to Migos? That's a good thing? Oh, no, he lives in what? Yeah, yeah you drop one, pick up two. Yeah, you're doing something there. Yeah, 
Are y'all related or just different? But I've cooked with them. Oh, yeah, you know, That's him, like family. family. Yeah. Well, like you said, like, you're not, hey, you're not working tonight, sir. So. <laughs> 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 That's a big time organization, yeah. Oh, and first batter skies it. In between, somebody calls it. And good catch by the center fielder for out number one. We had Doug very big at the pitcher. Oh, so go right there where the gates are open, and is this building right here on the other side? Yeah. Yeah, the brick building. Stay towards the right right here, and then... It's the brick, the brick building. Stamming up the bat. One out. Is that, uh, Top eight for the Hyenas. Score is two to one. Yeah, Edgar, what's up, bro? Hey. Yeah, under budget. Under budget. <laughs> 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 Here they come set and deals. Lines right amigo. Excellent backhand. On the first, second out. Migo has basically been a vacuum at the shortstop position. You know, guaranteed base hits taken away by a mere flick of the wrist. Well done by them. And honestly, all the fielders here have been showing fantastic love work. Even if a bobble here and there gets through, they're able to recover quickly and make the play very close. And a lot of instances get that out at first. Yep. All right. The catcher for the hyena stands in. Two outs. Number 12, Ozzy. Break them, set, and deals. Weak grounder. Viga on to first. Three outs. We're going to the bottom of the eighth. 2-1 lead, War Dogs still lead. 2-8. 2-1, This game has been fantastic from pretty much start to finish. Hits have abounded and everything. Defensive glove work has been able to limit runs till about the bottom of the fifth. When Migo Banda hit a two-run double, clearing the bases. Was now to third trying to stretch it into a triple, but still opened the scoring that was pretty much neck and neck up to that point. Top of the sixth. Boulay, the big third baseman for the Hyenas, was able to sky a massive solo homer over the six nine one three eight. And here we go to the bottom of the eighth. It stands two to one. War Dogs lead. One three eight. Two, six, nine, one, three, eight. Yeah, let's go. Got a winner. Got a winner. Number two for the War Dogs continues his score. Third, comes in for his third scoreless inning of relief. Hoping to see if he can hold the War Dogs at bay. And come up to the, you. come up to bat. Huh? You got a ring. A yep, little bit of tall throw from Roca behind the plate. Shows that, you know, that cannon is still well intact even after his five innings start. Only two earned runs. I thought you were done facilitating. Well, leading off the bottom of the eighth, the catcher for the War Dogs, number seven, Steele. Trying to add on, get the uh, War Dogs a bit of an insurance as they go. As they come to bat in the bottom of the eighth. Number two has not given up a run since he came on in relief from the starter Roca. Winds in the pitch. Strike one called. Yeah. 
And on the pitch. Grounded foul. Picked up by Bappy, the third base coach for the War Dogs. 0-2, the count to steal. Switching out the ball. And so far, you know, allowed a couple of base runners, but still was able to pitch him out. Himself out of a jam. No, I've given up a run as to who have yet. The War Dogs holding on to a slim one-run lead in the bottom of the eighth. The 0-2 pitch. Low and outside, one and two. So this time we don't have a uh, speed gun in THA, but they're still throwing some fairly you know potent stuff. Right, three foul would have been, but I believe came out of the catcher's glove at the last second. Would have been a foul tip, but still stays alive at one and two. Still hoping to get things going here in the bottom of the eighth for the War Dogs. Insurance runs would definitely be a welcome sight for this team, I'm sure. The line and the pitch. Oh! oh Steel oh, cranks it to no deep left. Way. Over the Diablo. fence for a solo shot. Yeah. Insurance they wanted and insurance they got as Steel the catcher. Controls a 1-2 pitch high over the left field fence. 3-1 War Dogs. That was last off. Second homer of the game, one for each team now, and both to over the left field fence. Shows the power that these guys are capable of, the skill in general. The first earned run for number two for the Hyenas. He was doing well up to that point. Trying to go see if he can limit the bleeding with number 44, Tamez, the left fielder at the bat. Liner through the for a base hit. Nicely done through the gap. He's thought like he might try the second from the uh, slow throw in from the left fielder, but. And still, so now, two starting to show a little bit of the, uh, what is that? Process. Paul Ross is going there. Out pitch. A little bit of preemptive. <laughs> now, oh, oh, is he okay? Good job, bud. The pitch, up and inside, it's called a strike. Just must have nicked the corner. One and one. Two, you know, throwing, you know, throwing three good innings of scoreless relief up to this point, but it's starting to tire. He's, he's giving up the solo homer and a single to start the inning. Two and one. Bennett calling Tom and a bulk is called and Tamez will find his way to second still nobody out a couple of defensive miscues and indifference has caused you know, the War Dogs giving them an opportunity window wide open to try and let on to their lead. Oh! Call the wild pitch, and Tamez again will advance to third base unbidden. Still nobody out. At first, it looked like it might have nicked Bennett, but as of yet, I believe it will be scored as a pass ball. Bennett's still in, still at the bat. Close time, uh, quick time is called. Just two retreats back to the mound. Now stands Tamez, the runner on third. Nobody out. As two's command starts to turn a little bit suspect in the later innings. Hyenas have one chance, that's it. Wide in the pitch to bet it. Called strike. Full count is called. Then it digs in. Runner on third, nobody out. 
Two looks in, comes set. Checks the runner. The one in pitch. Low. Walks Bennett. Runners on the corners. Still nobody out. As number 89. Or, oh, never mind. As right fielder Butler comes to bat. Hoping to nail the proverbial door shut. <coughs> Nobody out. Runners on first and third to trying to deal himself out of a jam. The dangerous lefty in the plate. Wind in the pitch. Strike on the outside corner. 0 and 1 to Butler. Line and pitch. Down low. One and one. Time is cold. Butler steps out. Quick adjustment. Number two taking advantage as well. Wipe his brow and get ready. Trying to escape this jam. Line and pitch. Foul back. Butler stays alive. One and two is the count. Called by the umpire. Butler steps back in. Number two toes the rubber. Stares in, trying to collect himself. Brings himself set, ready to deal. Wind and the pitch. Inside. Almost nicked him. Tried to get him back. Pitch out. Throw down to first to try and keep him honest. Two and two is the game. Nobody out. Runner at first. And third. And third. <clears throat> What's Bennett still doing at first, actually? Bennett's on. Bennett is on first. Yes. One out. I would have already been out on the horse. Let's see. 2-2 two, two pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Then it goes down. Butler, rather, goes down swinging for the first out of the inning. And now a pinch hitter. Batting for Frank Padilla. Number 89, Rosas. Carl Ross. Bearing the name Sacrifice on the back of his jersey. U.S. Military War Dogs, again an organization, goes around playing baseball to honor those who have fallen, and a shining example to the veteran and the military community at large. Take strike one. I would, but... Runners of the corners, one out now. Rosas, the pinch hitter, trying to make something work here. Takes the ball, low and away, one on one. Got to give it up to two. He's been able to keep the hyenas in this game with some pretty good pitching. The only uh, earned run, the homer to steal the catcher uh, for the War Dogs, but he's trying to get himself out of a bit of pickle. Runners on the corners with only one out. The pitch. Low. Oh, two and one. Been a strike all night. <laughs> Obviously, it's hard to see from this angle. That is true. Big at bat right here, though. Yeah. Definitely. Trying to see if any damage can be done. Oh, liner right at the shortstop. Throws back to first. Oh. Double play. That oh. is doubled off. Lined right at the shortstop. Was able to make quick work of it. The throw off to first. Kent Bennett napping. Is able to double him off. And now the Hyenas come to bat in the top of the ninth. Their last chance to get back in this game as they are down two runs to the War Dogs. Three to one.
That's it right here for the Hyenas. Down two runs. Yes, indeed. Championship on the line right here, fellas. We've got a 3-1 lead by War Dogs. So. <laughs> as it stands, it seems as if Beret will come back to the mound for the ninth. Okay. Trying for the complete game. Only one earned run in this game. Flurry of hits, but still able to you know, limit the damage. The only run for the Hyenas um, committed given up by Beret was a solo shot to Boulay in the top of the sixth. Comes to the mound to see if he can close out this championship match for the War Dogs. This has been a fantastic time thus far, folks. A great championship game, an excellent display of hitting, defensive play, and it's been a tight one. But now we see we have a two-run lead by the War Dogs. Over the Hyenas, as the Hyenas' last chance comes into this top of the ninth. Ray's been pretty stellar so far, and he's on again the mound to see if he can close that out and win the championship for the War Dogs here tonight. <laughs> again, we want to thank the staff for Elsick High School and for the A. Leaf ISD for the use of Robert Copley Field here tonight for the championship game. Fantastic, very well taken care of field. We can come together and celebrate our national pastime with these men coming together on the diamond to show their skill and their love for the game. I also want to thank our assistant commentator tonight, our commissioner Carlos Ramon for the Texas Hardball Association. His leadership has been instrumental to making something like this happen and bringing competitive men's wood bat leagues to Houston. And here we go with the top of the ninth, Beret on the mound and pitching to number 24. <laughs> I believe it is Arthur for the Hyenas. Leads off, and he deals. Strike one to start the top of the ninth. <laughs> Bray steps out. Um, Arthur just stepping out of the batter's box. I don't believe he called time. The pitch, as it stands, I believe the count is still 0 1. Bray comes set and deals. Outside, 1 and 1. Top nine guys. I'm gonna zoom it in so you see the pitcher and the hitter face off. Not sure if Arthur's having some issues with his batting gloves or what, but he's after each pitch he seems to be, you know, 